What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today, we're focusing on the Montreal Canadiens acquiring uh, Thomas Vanek from the New York Islanders in exchange for second round pick and prospect Sebastian Kohlberg. Now, Sebastian Kohlberg was one of the best players at the last two World Juniors, and I named him, I know for a fact, in my 2013 World Junior All Star team. Um, I, I was impressed with him this year as well. I think he actually might have had a better tournament, but I, I can't remember if he was on the All Tournament team. CJ's All Tournament team, I should say. But um, going a step further, I wish I could say I told you so to the Islanders, but I can't because I love the Vanek trade when it happened because I thought they needed to take risks. And, um, you know, of course, there's egg on my face right now. But uh, this is laughable, the return they got. Now, I mean, again, I was I had no problem with what they gave up to get Vanek. Uh, first, Molson, and second. But they got back a second and Kohlberg. Really? They couldn't get back a first? I mean, the, my the next question is, where are the Bruins and Anaheim Ducks on this? Where, you know, they wouldn't step up with a first or, I mean, you know, met, Anaheim has two first-round picks this year in a draft that really ain't that deep. Uh, the the Bruins could have given them Malcolm Subban, considering you signed Tuco for the next, what, seven or eight years. I mean, this is um, this is laughable. Goldberg, I believe, is like the 50th-ranked prospect in hockey, which is good. He's the sixth-ranked sixth ranked prospect in Montreal. I mean, you look at all the organizational holes that the Islanders have, particularly on the blue line, and it's like, oh, yeah, let's just go out and, you know, not get a defenseman and, you know, not try to reclaim a first-round pick back in either draft. So, essentially, they're going to have, I think they'll give up their, their pick this year. They'll hold on to their pick this year because it'll be a top four or five pick. And even in a weak draft, you want a top four or five pick. And then you look at next year, they're going to have kind of an abysmal team unless they address the goaltending situation, which I think they, they could and they should. And, um, you know, they could end up with a, you know, top five pick in a deeper draft that Buffalo, the Buffalo Sabres get. For Thomas Vanek, and they don't get anything in return, and they don't get a playoff appearance in return. It's like, well, the, the good thing with me is like a Monday morning quarterback it, but I'm still, I stand by what I said with um, that being a good move at the at the time. Obviously, it turned out to not be. You know, four months later, you, you get hindsight. Hindsight's twenty twenty. But uh, I, I don't know what people what turned people off with of Vanek. Now I think the partying and Sochi before elimination games played into it. But I mean, even still, hockey players consuming alcohol. That's that, that's that. You know, it's nothing new, you know, but if, for the Islanders, a dysfunctional organization like the New York Islanders that are just the epitome of <laughs> of laughability, this is awesome. You know, and again, I get egg on my face from saying that the original deal was a good deal, but then again, four months later, everything can change, and everything did change for the Islanders, and this is, uh, this is one of those moves that it's like, oh, great. It's so New York Islanders, like literally. It's like when they gave up. Uh, Chara and the pick that trained out to be Jason Spezza for Alexei Yashin. It's like, oh yeah, whoops. <laughs> and they're still paying Alexei Yashin. I mean, the New York Islanders, I, I, this, I love this team. I mean, please never never change. They're like, I, I can't think of a team like them in, in sports. I mean, the New York Knicks, maybe. But, I mean, even the Knicks, can, they, they spend the money. I mean, Dolan makes money off that franchise. You know, it just, it's... It's laughable, and I love this. Anyway, that's this episode of The Power Play with CJ on uh, the Montreal Canadiens acquiring Tomas Vanek. And by the way, Vanek makes a difference in this team. They just put the Bruins and Penguins on notice that in a playoff series, we have an elite sniper. But we'll see what happens uh, when they get around. The price is health and a number of other mitigating factors are involved, but we'll see what happens. That's all in this episode of The Power Play with CJ. See you for the season and beyond. Later, guys.